Hello, kids. Today's story is your favourite, Barbie. You can be Doctor written by Lisa Rojani, illustrated by Dynamo Limited. One morning, Barbie opened the door to her childhood paediatrician's office. She was going to spend the day volunteering there. Her favourite nurse, Mira, asked Barbie to sit in the waiting room until she was ready for Barbie to get started. The office was already busy. There were kids with stuffy noses and irritating earaches. Barbie imagined all the ways she would help them. And the doctor! Barbie sat next to a girl with a purple cast. It was covered in notes and doodles. I like your cast, Barbie said. Thanks, but I'm getting it off today, she said with his worried look. And I'm kind of scared that it will hurt. Barbie understood. She used to be scared to go to the doctor too. Sometimes going to the doctor can be scary when you don't know what to expect, said Barbie. My friend Nikki had a cast. She said it tickled when the doctor took it off. Just then, Nurse Mira called Barbie's name. It was nice to meet you, said Barbie. And don't worry, Dr Vargas is the nicest doctor ever. When you're all done, she will even let you pick something special from her secret treasure box. Nurse Mira smiled at Barbie. It looks like you already have a good bedside manner, she said. It's when you make patients feel comfortable. It's very important. Having a good bedside manner is almost as important as washing your hands before and after every patient, she said, pointing to the soap dispenser. Barbie washed her hands while Mira pulled out a blue lab coat for her to wear. The blue lab coat meant Barbie was a volunteer. Doctors wore white lab coats. Why don't you shadow me until Dr Vargas is ready, said Nurse Mira. Barbie did just that and followed Nurse Mira into the first exam room. Oliver is here for his well visit, said Nurse Mira, handing Barbie Oliver's chart. It's a checkup to make sure he is healthy and growing. Barbie bent down and introduced herself. Oliver was bouncing on the table. Oliver and Barbie followed Nurse Mira to the scale. Oliver hopped up on the scale and Barbie entered the information on his chart. Mira checked her work and nodded. Next, Nurse Mira raised a measuring stick to the top of Oliver's head. It was time to see how tall he had grown. Hmm, you seem very tall this morning, Oliver, said Nurse Mira. Oliver giggled and Barbie saw he was standing on his tiptoes. Let's try with flat feet, said Nurse Mira. Forty inches tall. Oliver smiled proudly. Back in the room, Barbie watched carefully as Nurse Mira continued with the exam. She checked Oliver's blood pressure. This is so we know how strong your heart is, Nurse Mira explained. Then she checked his vision. After each part, Barbie entered the information into Oliver's chart. It was important to make sure all the information was correct. Dr Vargas would use the chart to review Oliver's progress. Dr Vargas knocked and peeked her head in the room. Hello, is Oliver in here? said Dr Vargas. She was a friendly woman wearing a white lab coat. I'm Oliver, the boy said excitedly. Oh my goodness, I hardly recognised you. You're so tall, Dr Vargas winked at Barbie. Nurse Mira waved goodbye to Oliver and Barbie. She had another patient waiting. We just have a few more things to check, said Dr Vargas. She looked at Oliver's ears with an otoscope. That tickles. Oliver giggled. Then she listened to his breathing with a stethoscope. He took two big, deep breaths. Dr Vargas asked Oliver questions about his friends and how well he sleeps at night. There's more to being healthy than blood pressure and height, Dr Vargas told Barbie. Barbie had never thought of those questions when she imagined being a doctor. Dr. Vargas looked over Barbie's notes on Oliver's chart. Everything looks great, Oliver. You're healthy, happy and ready to start first grade. 
and I'll be even taller in second grade, he said. Oliver hopped down from the table and gave them each a high five on his way out. The office was busy that day. There was already another patient waiting in the next exam room. Dr Vargas and Barbie made sure to wash their hands before going inside. Dr Vargas picked up the patient's chart that was hanging outside the door. She read over it briefly and smiled at Barbie. Nurse Mira mentioned you have excellent bedside manner, said Dr Vargas. I think you will be a lot of help during the next exam. In the exam room, Barbie saw a familiar face. Barbie, this is Lily. Lily broke her arm a few weeks ago, said Dr Vargas. I met Lily earlier, said Barbie with a smile. She was really brave in the waiting room. First, we need to see if Lily's arm has healed, said Dr Vargas. Barbie, can you please escort Lily and her father to the x-ray technician next door? A friendly woman welcomed them inside the lab. She was an x-ray technician. The x-ray technician set up a machine to take pictures of Lily's bones inside the cast. What does this do? asked Lily. She was still a little nervous. This machine uses a special light to make a picture of your bones. That way we can see inside your cast, said the woman. This is the first x-ray of your broken arm, said Dr Vargas, pointing to the first picture. And this is the x-ray we just took. Barbie could see the broken bone was completely healed inside the cast. Does this mean Lily gets to have her cast removed? asked Barbie. Yes, I just need to grab a few tools, said Dr Vargas, smiling. Barbie could see Lily was still nervous. Remember what my friend told me? It doesn't hurt, it just tickles, Barbie said, sitting next to Lily. And I'll be here the whole time. First, Dr Vargas used a special cast saw that vibrated and cut the cast. It does tickle, Lily laughed. Next, Dr Vargas used a cast spreader to separate the cast. Then she let Barbie cut the padding with a pair of scissors. All done, announced Dr Vargas. Lily flexed her fingers and waved her hand. Do I get to keep the cast? Lily asked. Of course, said Dr Vargas. Can you and Barbie sign it too? Lily asked, smiling. Now you get to pick something from the secret treasure box, said Dr Vargas. Lily's eyes opened wide as Barbie carried over the treasure box. Lily chose a bright purple bouncy ball. Just as Lily and her dad were leaving, a little boy was coming down the hall wearing a leg cast. Don't worry, it's not scary. And Barbie and Dr Vargas are the nicest, Lily said. And there's a secret treasure. Are you ready for our next patient, Barbie? asked Dr Vargas. Of course, said Barbie. She couldn't wait to see whom they were going to help next. Dear Dr Vargas and Nurse Mira, Thank you so much for letting me volunteer with you. Seeing Lily be brave while her cast was removed was so cool. And I really like taking notes on Oliver's visit in his official chart. I hope one day I can help people just like both of you do. Your friend Barbie. The End If you like our videos, please like, share and subscribe our channel. Thank you. Good night.